Hola everyone, Christian here. I'm gonna show you LinkPop, a link in bio tool designed by Shopify for Shopify stores. Stick around to the end so you can see how to add products and our recommendations on links to add to yours. So let's get started. So a link in bio tool lets you curate a list of links on a custom landing page with a very simple URL. You've probably seen these on Instagram or TikTok. Most popular tools out there are Linktree or Lincoln.bio. Uh, but today I actually wanna show you Link Pop by Shopify. It's actually pretty new. So let's start with why you need a link in bio landing page. Simply put, you as a business owner have multiple links within your ecosystem. Your website, Facebook page, Facebook group, YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram, blog, newsletter, etc. There could be a ton, a ton of links. So when you share only one link on your platforms, your audience is actually missing out on all those other links. So having a link in bio tool allows you to show your audience and customers every place that you actually you know, have a store or you're living in, right? So with Link Pop, you'll be able to highlight the product and collections as well, which is very, very powerful. That's where the e-commerce side of things uh, come in with Link Pop. Now, before we're moving on, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pinon, one of the co-founders here at Bitbraining. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out. LinkPop is fully customizable, and because it's made by Shopify, you get some neat features. First off, your entire catalog of products are integrated as shoppable links. This means that your product images, descriptions, everything shows up within LinkPop and customers are able to check out right within LinkPop, right? They don't have to go anywhere else. So this basically means that you get new sales channel. Another great feature is that it integrates with ShopPay, Shopify's accelerated checkout method. And finally, LinkPop has built-in analytics so you can see how many people have visited your profile, how many links, how many conversions, etc. Hey, if you like what you see, consider hitting that like button. Now that you know what LinkPop is all about, let's head over to linkpop.com to set it up. But before we do that, I wanna let you in in a little secret. Data is king. We literally just talked about it. So now more than ever, you need to be able to see your blind spots and opportunities in your clothing store. We found software called Triple Well, you can see the link below, that will literally put all the data points that you need to know about your business into one place. So that every single day, you can actually see your gross, net profits, opportunities, and continue to grow profitably, which is super, super important. So the first thing you want to do is head over to linkpop.com. You will see this landing page, make your link in bio shoppable. So again, like I said, link in bio by Shopify. I have a pretty neat um, landing page here. It gives you all the information, some of the things that I'm talking about, um, some of the visuals, analytics, etc., and even some reviews from some people who are already using LinkPop and some frequently asked questions in there. So the first thing you want to do is just click on the button to sign in. So I'm gonna click on sign in, select that account. And then once you're logged in, this is how it will look. You will just wanna click on create page. And then the first thing you wanna do is create your URL. So for this one, let's do a little, little bit treats. So that means that that's gonna be the simple URL for me. It's gonna be linkbob.com forward slash little bit treats. Um, actually, let's do scrape means. That's the last one we did. I think I have <clears throat> an image here. Now for the profile photo, this is gonna be right up here where this little uh, storefront is located. Um, I would highly recommend just a maybe 400 by 400 um, square image. <clears throat> I think that will look the best right there because it's gonna get, the corners getting get cut out. Profile name, we can do scrape knees, tees, and then tees for everyone. That's the description. And you can see the preview right there, being populated, you can click on create profile. And then um, after that, you'll see the link right here. So this is the link that you will grab. You wanna copy that link, which they also have a button right there. You can copy that link, and that's where you put it on Instagram, you can put it on TikTok as well. Um, so and then so links, and then we have at links, and then you can create Shopify, Shopify links. You also have back to the profile. You can customize this a little bit, so you can change background color, fonts, and then they give you just a handful of different fonts to, to use there. And then this is the information that we just uh, already created in that first step. And then we have the social media channels in here. A um, little bit of everything for everyone. I'm guessing in the future they might add a few uh, extra ones in there. Again, all these are technically optional, so you don't have necessarily have to do them. But let me show you adding a link. You basically create a title here. 
So we can do, for example, new arrivals. And then have the yeah, script needs to use collections for slash new arrivals. I'm gonna copy that, paste it right here. You can also have the option to do a thumbnail image for uh, some of these regular links. And then let's hit publish. All right, so let's go ahead and add a shoppable link as well. Click on that. It's gonna give you a little tutorial. I'm gonna skip that. It's basically just providing information for you. I'm gonna find my store here. Click on that. And what this is going to do is gonna redirect back to Shopify and it's going to add a sales channel um, to your store. So we're gonna click on add sales channel. And it's gonna give you, take you back over here to Linkbox. Now we can click again on add shoppable link now that we have everything connected and you're able to just uh, browse products. And as you can see, we're connected to the store you can click on browse products and you can see some of the shirts that we have online. So you can see product name gets uh, taken here automatically as same as the product image. So you can see it right there. That's nice. And then what you can do once you have all of your links set up here, these dots right here, you can actually um, pull them up or pull them down in order to change the order of your links that will show up there. And the last thing is the social media. Um, I'm going to just grab our regular URL and put that as a Shopify store here. And then Facebook, I'm just gonna put the bit branding one, at bit branding, this one's at bit branding. And as you can see, the icons just automatically populate right there at the very top of your landing page. All right, awesome. So let's hit publish on that. And again, this is gonna be the link that we're gonna add into Instagram and TikTok. I think those are the two, the two main ways uh, to add these link and bio tools is for Instagram and TikTok. But you can literally use them anywhere. Now, let's talk about some of the must have when it comes to some of these links. Um, right off the bat, I do want you to add your store, obviously, all the information, so your name, your description, your profile photo, and then all of your social channels. Um, those are just must have that you need to have in there. Um, beyond that, uh, when it comes to the actual links, uh, number one, some sort of uh, new arrivals. You need to have that in there. And then beyond new arrivals, then you also want to potentially do a couple or two or three of feature products. So uh, like just I added that shirt in there, maybe some of your best sellers or maybe some of your new arrivals, you just want to have the new arrivals link for the full collection, but you want to maybe showcase a couple of those uh, images in there as well. Um, beyond everything like that, uh, the next thing besides new arrivals, uh, maybe you have a new collection drop or um, I don't know, maybe you, you created a new spring collection, for example. Um, that spring collection, you wanna make sure that you link it right here within link in bio. And lastly, you wanna have some sort of sign up and save link. So the same thing that your customers hopefully are getting right now in their store, which is a, a pop-up, right, that has 10% off your first order and whatnot. Um, something like that, but a landing page, right, that takes them to sign up, get them a, an email address, and then they get a code to save $10 or 10% off on your first order. So again, those are gonna be just so, sort of the main recommendations when it comes to some of these links. If you're just getting started and don't know exactly what to put there, start with those. And uh, as time goes by, you'll probably add a few more like uh, an about, maybe your newsletter, um, maybe your blog. Uh, I mean, the, the, the opportunities are, are infinite really when it comes to um, adding links in here. All right, let me show you real quick how that looks inside of Instagram. So I have a just a dummy little bit treats account created here. I know we're kind of dealing with scraped knees and little bit treats, but this is just kind of like what I have set up right now. So uh, once you're logged into your account here on Instagram, you can click on edit profile. And then in here you will see the website. So the website link was linkpop.com forward slash scrape me. I'm gonna click done. Okay. And then there we have the link in there. So let's see if this works. We click on that. And as you can see, we have a logo. We have Scrape Meets Tees, Tees for Everyone. We have our links, new arrivals. Let's click on this shirt. So as you can see, we click on the shirt and it loads automatically right here. We can actually shop from right here. 
add to bag. Click on the bag. So we can continue to check out right within here, within this ecosystem of Blinkpop. So very, very powerful for you um, online store owners uh, wanting to sort of ha have some e-commerce functionality to your Linktree or Link in Bio uh, tool. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please check out the next video you should watch where it's, we're talking about filters. We're talking about filtering everything within your collection store. So if you enjoy this feature, then you're gonna enjoy the filtering feature for your store.